In the module Dynamic Cell, we will present current research in cell biology and highlight the major open questions for future research. We will discuss fundamental processes paying special attention to the temporal and spatial dynamics inside the cell. Cells were first observed in the 17th century by Robert Hooke using primitive microscopes. Over the following centuries, our knowledge about cells and cellular organization has much advanced with the continuous development of new technologies. Jacques Dubouchet at the University of Lausanne was one of the pioneers of the latest technological revolution with profound implications for cell biology. The new generation of electron microscopes represent major opportunities that deeply change the way fundamental biology is performed now and how it will be performed in the future. The aim of the module Dynamic Cell is for you to understand the mechanisms that form and propagate the basic unit of life, the cell. You will hear about diverse model organisms including bacteria, fungi, plant cells and animal cells. In group exercises you will train your understanding, the critical thinking and your scientific writing skills by reading and discussing papers with fellow students and by writing of a short article summary. Two practical courses of your choice will complement the lectures and the exercises. Thematically, the module is divided into four major branches. The first set of courses will teach you about fundamental cellular events occurring during cell division. The courses will describe when and how major events of the cell cycle happen, how they are regulated and coordinated with one another. We will investigate how and when to replicate, to condense and to segregate chromosomes, how to build a mitotic spindle, how to divide the cell in two, either symmetrically or asymmetrically, and how the daughter cells inherit organelles during cell division. The second theme concerns the inner workings of cell membranes. We will look at examples that illustrate different ways plasma membranes can become organized into distinct subsections. You will find out how protein localization on the membrane can be regulated and how it affects membrane function and membrane form and how cell size and cell structure is maintained despite continuous flux of membrane materials inside the cell. The third theme of the module focuses on cell organelles and cell appendages. The course will discuss the biology of cilia, describing their structure and distinct functions in a range of organisms. You will hear about diseases resulting from defective cilia and potential mechanism by which these fascinating organelles have evolved. From an evolutionary perspective, you will learn how the intricate cellular architecture emerged suddenly, apparently without intermediates, from a much simpler progenitor cell. The course will discuss the major steps required for the domestication of organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplasts. The final theme will discuss changes in cellular organization and cellular dynamics during aging. The lectures will describe our current understanding of the cellular hallmarks driving the aging process with a special focus on epigenetic changes. In summary, the main objective of the module is to describe and to make you understand the basic unit of all life from the most primitive ancestor to current forms of life on earth. Understanding the functioning of a cell is fundamental to all of biology while also being essential for research in biomedical fields such as cancer and aging. By understanding how cells work in healthy and diseased states, future biologists working in animal, in plant and in medical sciences will be able to develop new vaccines, more effective medical treatments and plants with improved qualities.